Hey guys, new video here. I have spent the last uh, week or so, a uh, week plus, deciding on a T16. And I still haven't really decided on one, but I got asked a lot uh, recently on my stream, you know, what T16, what T16 should I do? Which one is good? You know, which one is bad? You know, if I'm a noob, which one should I do? You know, which one do you like the best? You know, regardless of like returns, like which one's the best efficiency? And so I thought uh, I would take the T16s that I've actually done, and what I mean is like I've actually tested it out more than like a couple maps let's just say like 50 plus uh at least some of these i've done over 100 some of these i've done 50 60 so i'll just give you my overall thoughts on uh the t16 and and there are a lot of choices here okay there's a lot of good maps i'm not gonna go over i'm just gonna uh talk about the ones that i have actually done in depth this league okay because sometimes from league to league things do change and you might think like yeah that, that map's the same as last league you know this map's the same as last league but there are little things like little minutiae that do change between the leagues so uh let's get right into it so uh, i have kind of uh listed these here these are the maps that i've done t16s of some of them aren't t16 because i ran out because like what i'll do is i'll shift my elders orb all all around to try to test new maps and if i run out of a map then um i, I have to show you guys the uh the lower version either the white or the yellow version so on these here uh the top tier i will put as like the s tier and then the next tier that i'll do is like the uh the a the a plus tier and the next tier would be like the b tier and then the next tier would be like the the, the, the b minus c tier you know just a, whatever like uh, you know it's okay and then the bottom would be like the the things i actually do not like okay uh, once again, these are just ones that I have extensively tested. For example, I've done well over 100, maybe 200 Cs. Uh, I, I've done, I did probably like uh, at least 72 moon temples. I've done uh, alleyways, I did about 105 of them. The, the beaches, I did about 62 of them. Uh, Barrel chambers, I did over 50. And the summit, uh, so, well, summit, I only did like about maybe 20 or 30, but moon temple, yeah, whatever. So uh, so I have some good experience here. I'll just go ahead and talk about them. So let's talk about barrels first. Now, barrels kind of a sleeper hit. You know, it does have the white sex going on here so really nice cheap sextants uh, and then also the layout you know most people know that's kind of aids because there's three rooms right you know with all the stuff going on in maps these days you gotta click on three different rooms two are uh, these tomb rooms that have like a really dense pack size very nice for beyond uh, when you get in you'll notice that the, the spike in beyond if you're running beyond either on the map or on the map table uh, that it's v very spiky in terms of like sometimes like in the open areas it might not be any monsters but then when you get into a, a dense area like really inside those two tombs or like a little outcropping of the the barrows it's just insane right much more insane than uh some other maps for example the sea or the uh the haunties that have like a very consistent beyond spawn so it's like it's like peaks and valleys right more peaks more valleys than uh some other maps but really exciting the outside if you kind of ignore those three rooms at first very easy to find masters very easy to find your uh your memory fragment and in the um in the boss room, the boss is non-phased. It has a pack next to it, so pretty easy boss. You know, when he charges, it's a great white beast from the uh, the quest, uh, the leveling quest. And when he charges, he hits a wall. He's stunned, so he can't actually attack you. Uh, so that's you know that's another bonus too. I mean, uh, I, I don't think I've ever died to that boss. I think it's like r almost impossible to die to that boss. Um, so so great, uh, great non-phased boss, and overall good pack size. When I ran this myself, um, if you ever like add me to your friends list, you, know, you can like see where I am. If you ever seem like doing like some random map that I don't really do on stream, it's probably because I'm, I'm testing out the monster count with Rampage gloves. And so when I did this a few times, I was looking at like, you know, 620, 650, uh, so, so somewhere between, I did like three of them. I got between 620 and 650 monsters on a white map, not using any strong boxes, not hitting any breaches that they came up, not doing the memory, right? Not not doing anything that like would uh, would randomly add uh, a little bit more monsters to, uh, to the map. So this one, I love it, you know? It's not too bright, you know? it's not like a beach but it is it, it is a brighter layout i guess because it is outdoors frogs procs on this map really nicely and so um i i just love this map okay everything about it is great next one doesn't need much mentioning this is the elder underground sea this is i think as a baseline map right you'll hear everyone talking about this map it is pretty solid you know overall good mob count they changed the uh, boss fight from previous leagues where before it was a single phase merveil so you kill her she drop her loot you exit the room now it's a double phase and the phasing takes a long time i'd say like uh maybe like five seconds when you kill first four merveil it takes like maybe five seconds i didn't really count but it feels like that to transition so in that five seconds you can lose some stats 
max you know you can use some lose some charges and, and that could be a little bit dangerous but uh overall that shouldn't take you that much longer uh if you're able to kill the first phase and you know, beyond beyond procs on this map are very smooth. You know, uh, ev the monsters are uh, evenly distributed. You know, the sea witches are natural to this map, so if you get some of those, um, you know, good pack, good uh, good spikes in beyond spawns there. Um, one little tiny annoying thing is that uh, sometimes you get this like rare layout where like a, a big outcropping, uh, for example, a tunnel will spawn on top of another one, and usually the underground sea is very easy. To, everything is really interconnected, but there's some spawns where like it's more of a big dead end and you can't flame dash from one platform to the next so that's like kind of annoying uh but you know that's just like a, a small thing that i noticed and uh, in here also since it's a, a very like like square-ish map very easy to find masters and uh, the backtracking is like if you have to do it it's not so bad so um i don't need to say much about this this is just all around great map and it has the white sex and sex to it um and so you know cheap uh cheap sections there okay next one i've done a couple of these and i am really liking this uh haunties uh i want oh, let's just talk about the mtx thing right so there is a hideout that you can find in here if you find the hideout you can sell it that's some money right there but i think they changed the atmosphere of the the haunties from before now the haunties um they, it seems like a little bit more dark and gloomy. It's just got a cool, more a more cool, spooky atmosphere, and it looks better than it did before. Now, because the hallways are so uh, narrow, your AOE, if you have any kind of like like AOE, true AOE, projectile AOE, um, it's gonna hit pretty much everything in that hall, in those hallways. Okay, uh, and so you know if you're an aoe build you know fantastic right like true true AOE, it's it's fantastic. Uh, beyond the spawns are very linear. The haunties. A uh, boss is a two phase, but unlike Mervale, the boss is instant. So when you kill the first phase, the health bar instantly switches. Uh, there's no wait time before you can damage the second guy, and he's and he's pretty easy, right? He's a humanoid dude. There's always a monster pack in that room as well, so you know you get some charges, you get some juice uh, off of that. So I, I love this map. Easy to run. Um, you know, long corridors. Uh, so like if you're uh, even if you're not a runny boy, if you're like a shield shield charge, uh, whirling blade, leap slam, what what have you, right? You'll have an e easy time getting a. Uh, around this map so awesome uh, easy to find masters and other uh, procs on the map as well okay cells this is gonna be controversial this is why I put it below here now cells is actually one of my favorite maps of all time I started doing it as a meme last week and then I just ended up doing like you know <laughs> hundreds upon hundreds of them because it's so fun now let me tell you about cells um, let's just talk about the bad things that people hate about it just so you know because I, I don't if you if you've run a dungeon layout uh, cells well cells is way better than dungeon but like uh, if you ever run like a, like a dungeon as in like the layout tile set not just like the map um, what's gonna happen is um, hold on. Uh, so what's gonna happen is you notice I have to click on doors and there's some like hallways that are like maybe a little bit small a little bit dead endy uh, and so lots of people don't like clicking on doors and, and getting around uh, those uh, those little cells right but if you can look past that the boss is a uh, super easy you know it is a chevroni and then the chevroni also has the diff cards right the shafts discards and the wretched also drops in here that's fantastic uh, you know it's it, wretch is kind of a weird divination card because uh if you buy it individually you can probably buy it for one alchemy but later on in the league when people want to jamble they, they, you know, they're done with the league they want to expend their their thousands of uh, chalice orbs people uh like last league you know people were selling for five c each and it was selling pretty quickly in in bulk if you have in bulk that is uh, or you can turn them in try to get a head on her so that's like exciting jamble right there right so uh, you have you have the option with that card very flexible and the pack size i found is excellent beyond spawns in here are very smooth but there's also some really nice spikes because of um, how close together everything is packed in um I don't know i just like it. it's a dark layout doesn't hurt your eyes and uh but but it is definitely not for everyone okay if you're like thinking about this maybe you do the normal version you have some tier nine cells just run a few of those see if you can handle it um i'd say the majority of people won't like it but i love it and i put it here because once again these are my opinions on my rankings and uh and, and i was able to run this hundreds of times with um with great fun uh in each one of them now, uh, oh, I forgot to talk about the diff cards in these. Uh, Barrows does it has the loyalty card, which is uh, five cards for three fusing. It's not that exciting. It's got the fox. It's got like some other things that aren't that valuable. Uh, it's mostly just for like the spiky beyond spawns and high uh, natural monster count. Now this uh, this one right here, the underground sea, has the alchemy, and you'll get a ton of these. You if you run this map, you probably never buy alchemies ever again. You never run alchemies uh, for the rest of your life. Okay. You also have some corrupted things. You have um, corrupted amulet. You know, so you get 
plus one Vol's Devotion or something, uh, you can get a uh, the Gold Ring, right? So most most times it's gonna be Anvarius, but you could get a Ventors in there. So not bad Divination cards. And in the Haunties, I don't think there's much in the Haunties. I think there's the Opulent, a level one, I level 100 um, ring in there. So it's like, eh, whatever, but Haunties is still pretty good, uh, regardless of the card, okay? So yeah, and then so sells, uh, as you can get the Aesthete, which could be a Shavs. You can get the Offering, right, which is a Shavs, part of a Shavs, and then of course the Wretch, big cards, I love them. Now let's talk about, um, let's talk about Shape Moon Temple here. Now, man, I got so many trades going on here. It's, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna trade, okay, I'm, I'm gonna lose the money because I'm gonna make this video. Okay, so uh, Shape Moon Temple is uh, is bumped down a tier, and why is that? Because I believe there's a tinfoil hat, I believe that last league Shape Moon Temple was like really crazy, there was some kind of thing going on with the drop coefficient, or like uh, something was weird about where like it was very common to like, over sustain double triple quadruple sustain um consistently on uh shaved moon temple to the point where it felt like so much better than every other map and they might have done something to it, it doesn't feel as good this league um i, I don't know why maybe it's, i mean maybe i'm just like tinfoil hatting too hard but it is still overall good um now if you're gonna play that now this layout there's a lot of these like intercrossed and platformed levels so if you have a build that can't really deal with that too well or it's annoying to you you might not like it so that's why one reason why why it's in the uh, the B tier, right? It's still very good, but but um, definitely not for everyone as well. And the boss is uh, non phased, easy boss, uh, hu like huge amount of monsters on, in the boss room sometimes. Uh, if you have the sextants and also the Twilight Temple drops here, unique map that's a divided hideout, so people want it. Uh, what else drops here? Oh, a level four enlightened card drops here very rarely. You know, I I dropped like a few of those after uh, hundreds of runs. So it's it's rare, but you you can't get it, and that sells for a little bit. So overall, you're just looking at a a good good mob density and a bigger map. You will spend a little bit more time in this map than other maps. So I can go ahead and recommend this one if you like it. The blue layout is beautiful. Uh, if you like the NTX, okay. Summit map. Summit map is pretty cool these days. Summit map is a map where if you get the Alpine hideout, which is a new hideout out as a 3.6 you are going to be selling that for one to two exalts and if you have five portals i mean that's five to ten exalts uh yeah it's pretty good people are saying you're getting one in a hundred one in 200 one in 300 i don't even know but still it's uh it's something to look forward to on top of all the juice you're getting uh in here now one bad thing about this why it's like also in the b rank is that while the while there's a lot of monsters and especially between the two boss phases um there's a lot of rare and blue monsters uh it is a little bit spread out so beyond doesn't feel like as good as the other maps and it is a white layout so it's a snowy layout so it might hurt your eyes if you're going to play for a very long time uh, okay also the boss phasing like since it is a two-phase boss you might not like that um Abarth is actually pretty deadly like he he does some damage like when he leaps in he leaps in instantly when you proc him you can get hit by the leap he has some fireballs like um if you have a good build i guess it's fine but yeah he is, he's a little bit of a scarier boss i would say than than some of the other ones and um overall good map uh, and then so we have the alleyways. Now alleyways dropped Saints Treasure. Uh, obviously they added it. So Saints Treasure. When I did hundred alleyways, I got seventeen Saints Treasures. So that's uh, how, what? How much is that? That's like uh, three exalts. Um, that's like over three, over three exalts, right? And hundred maps just from the card itself. Very nice. Very linear. So you will not really miss anything. There are those outcroppings where you can miss some mobs, but uh, but alleyways is, is still um, pretty good and uh, easy to run. Boss is not phased. Boss is not even in a different zone, and so uh, that's pretty fantastic. Now the shape beach map. Now this, uh, why did I mention this even? Why did I, why did I even test the elder version of this like 60 times? Well, that's because my favorite content right now is synthesis. I love going here because the rewards are so good. The pack size is so good. The variety, the, the, the jambling with these, these reward tiles, like the strategies. It's so exciting to me. So why I was thinking shape beach is because it's a very fast map to run. Like this and coves, right? And like probably strand are super fast. So you can do a lot of like tiles per hour. You can gain a lot of tiles. You can run a lot of tiles it gives you the freedom to like you know if you just want to throw down tiles and go after reward zones you know it doesn't even matter because like when you get in here you're gonna be making so many more tiles uh so much faster and so it's it's a bright layout which might hurt your eyes uh some monsters spawn pretty far in the water that's kind of annoying boss is not phased but it is in a different room um and overall low mob counts. So that's why I put this in like the C tier um, with the with the alleys now alleys isn't actually bad I mean this could very well be like a B tier but it's just like the monster count is like lower than usual and sometimes you know the sometimes you, you won't even get like that many beyond spawns if you want to run beyond but if you're running harbinger or something like that it's totally fine um and then we have the now last 
Last of all, we have the Barrow Chambers. And once again, this is these are all the maps that I have actually eldered and, and ran with uh, some pretty good juice on it. The Barrel Chambers, I I just do not like it. Like I ran it pretty juicy and you know, I'm a sing I'm a solo player and everything, but it just feels like there's like no monsters in there compared to all the other juicy maps. It feels like the beyond coagulation of the portals, the coefficients of the spawning is really bad. Um, you know, boss is easy, you know, you, you, and of course you drop the doctor in here. Like you, you can see clips of streamers getting two doctors in one of these. Like I, I get it, right? But if you take a slippery Jim's video, okay, where he tries to do the doctor stuff as a solo player uh and then you take other people's uh, anecdotal evidence um and let's just say that you are super lucky you're getting one per 100 maps let's say you're getting one per 200 maps let's just say you're getting one per 100 maps right so that is uh basically what's happening is if if you're getting that what we calculated is like seven point something c extra per map if you get a doctor every um at, uh, every 100 to 200 maps well that's every 100 200 would be like three point 3.9 uh, C extra per map if you were to drop that doctor, right? And for that much per map, for losing the pack size, losing the beyond, losing the fun, losing, like, oh man, that is just not worth it to me. Like, I do not like this map. And, um, you know, I, get, I gave it a good old college effort, but it just feels bad if you're any kind of like speed clear um whatever like oh it's, it's so bad and but hey if you like the map run the map i just cannot in good conscience recommend this to uh to a new player okay even if you are magic fine and so that's that's basically why i think about this Th those are the maps there i would say like like right now i'm deciding between these three i actually don't know right now it's so hard for me to decide, right? Like this, this one's so bursty in in the feels good. This one's so smooth, you know, never run out of and like so reliable. And then this one's like so cool too, because like so, uh, it's like packed, but also like very narrow. So like, you know, the true AOE really shines in here. And then there's a hideout. It's like I don't, I don't even know yet. I don't know yet. I'm gonna run this one like maybe a hundred more times, and, and then I'll decide between one of these three, um, because like these, like these two, I've done like like maybe like I don't know, four hundred times. Uh, in the previous leagues plus so like it's 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 whatever right so maybe i, I like these two but i'm not gonna do these two anymore it's, it's between these three for me but you can do any of these for the, the reasons aforementioned once again because i know there's gonna be some uh some silly billy commenting like what about what what about port what about uh uh what about jungle valley city square you know it's like yeah okay there's a lot of other good maps you know grotto like whatever okay there's a lot of other good maps but these are the ones that I have tested extensively this league, okay, for my character. So I, I feel I'm only qualified to speak on the things that I have I have actual playtime and um, experience in. So that that's uh, that's where this opinion is founded, okay. And then we can talk about uh, also this real quick because this is also a common question: which one is best? I would say the most balanced one's Harbinger. If you don't know what to do, you don't even care. You've never played Beyond. You don't have a headhunter. You don't. You're a noob. The, and but you can't afford these um these map table mods the most smooth overall juiciness will probably be harbinger that's just like the overall consensus i'll, I'll say it's good you know ancient or prices are high harbinger annulment orbs are high so when you drop these shards it's pretty big they do drop a lot of maps they spawn a lot of monsters a lot of xp um and then like beyond is good if you really want to juice the xp if you really want to juice the fun and then the beyonds obviously if you um, think about a roundabout method of currency like basically uh beyonds only spawn glowy monsters blues rares uniques right and that means they they have a more chance to drop like you know that tier one item that exalted orb that divine or these bigger uh bigger sets of items that uh you'll get much more smoothly with beyond but or much more smoothly with harbinger but much more spiky and of course you're moving faster so you're clearing more maps per hour and then um of course the uh it's just so fun so overall it's and so much xp you get to 100 uh, way faster with beyond so that that's what i'll say about this the other ones uh, i don't really care about anymore at this point in the league okay so that's the video i hope you guys enjoy okay bye everyone bye thank you